Welcome back to A Girl, Her Dog, and RV. Today's video is going to be about me rebuilding after Hurricane Harvey. August 25th, 2017. Not a good day for me. I lost my home in Hurricane Harvey. I'm back today 14 months later. As you can see from the sign behind me, I'm still not allowed on the property. However, today we did have an HOA meeting and they're going to allow us in to see our individual units and the progress that's been made. Well, as you can tell, Riley and I did get on the road and some of you might have noticed we're in the car instead of the RV and that's because the RV is still in the shop. So I just left Houston and I'm headed to my home. I got in the car, I was just so excited about um, going to see my place and I got all teary eyed like this and I honestly was like, why am I, why am I crying? I should be really happy and, and actually I am very happy. But as I was becoming all teary eyed like this and going, what is my problem? I was trying to figure out why. Um, I think it's two big reasons. It's, you know, it's devastating to lose everything. I just have another classmate who lost everything in um, Hurricane Florence. And um, I told her I, I'm willing to lend an ear. I, I don't know how else to help her. Um, I mean, she set up a GoFundMe page and I've helped monetarily, but that's, that's great. But I know for a fact that it's more than just the money. There's so many other things involved. But um, yeah, to lose everything is very, very difficult and to try to deal with it. I, it's really hard for me to put things into words when I'm feeling like this, but I, I'm just so proud of myself for everything that I've been through and everything that I've overcome and it's really hard for me to admit that and I don't want to get into you know my past relationship but it's it was not easy and it did not make me feel like I could do much and so when I bought this home I think it stands for more than just a home that you know I own. It stands for so much more. Riley and I just got off the major highway and we're on a back road leading into town and I just wanted to give you a little bit of a view. So this is pretty flat and I would say this is all flood zone. You can see some fields, sometimes they grow maize and um, a lot of cotton. And I haven't seen any soybean lately. When I first came down here right after Hurricane Harvey, uh, I wasn't allowed in for about the first week. Uh, made my way down here, I had to rent a car from Oklahoma and drive down and I rented a big enough vehicle that I could sleep in it because there were no hotels available. But again, that's a past story. Anyway, you could see on each side of the road things that were caught in the fencing. So you saw everything from large pieces of furniture and um, mattresses, clothing, personal items, anything that people had outside, just laying up against the fencing. And it was just, I just felt like I was going into a war zone. Um, so this was my first peek at what I was about to come upon when I first went to see my place after Hurricane Harvey. When Riley and I got to Rockport, we went to a local restaurant called Moondog so we could watch the boats, fishing boats and shrimp boats come in from their day's work and uh, had a drink or two as we waited on a friend for dinner. If you guys are ever in the Rockport area and looking for restaurants, I do believe on my website at agirlherdogandrv.com, you can click on Lainey's Dockside Paradise and there's four restaurant review videos for you to enjoy. After our evening out, 
We went to bed quite early because we knew we were going to have a big day ahead of us tomorrow. And when we got up at the crack of dawn, we got to look at this beautiful sunrise. We just finished our HOA meeting and I've walked next door to the property. We have about a 30 minute uh, wait time between the end of the meeting and the time that we can check in and, and go see our property. There's several different buildings and I will tell you that my building was the most damaged and we had pretty much have to gut the place so I lost everything inside. People ask me all the time if I plan on moving back in full time. Um, I'm not really sure what my plan is. You know, I'm in the RV full time at this point. So uh, I have some uh, tentative plans in the back of my head. Nothing is really set in stone. So I guess time will tell. On the drive over here, I got a little emotional and I'm starting to feel that way again. Like I said earlier, it's been 14 months and I still don't have my home back. I still have stuff, a few things in storage. I was able to salvage eight boxes and uh, then afterwards several people did donate things and uh, I was able to have a house of furniture again. <laughs> so some of that is in storage, some of it I got rid of because I knew it wouldn't fit in this place, but I can't wait to get back in and see how uh, everything's gonna fit in. I did add a loft, so I have a second bedroom and a bathroom and a closet upstairs that was not there before. So if you happen to have rented my place in the past, um, it is now a two and two. I'm thankful for is it actually gets pretty dark in the corner of the kitchen so I asked them to put in three extra lights here and then I have two here kind of like a dining area I'm at the base of my condo patio and you can see how they built it out another four feet. I think I'm gonna actually love it. The problem is they didn't tell me they were leaving the old board and uh, the new board is going the other direction and it's just such a contrast. I guess a rug would help. And here's what it looks like. They haven't painted it yet of course but um, the bottom people are definitely getting some shade. A brand new wall here. Um, I'll show you why. But this is going to be my owner's closet. And this is going to be a washer and dryer, stackable, and pantry over here. So we're back at the front door. And you can see this is a walkway into the bathroom, which is right here. And then that's a walkway into the bedroom. Okay, back at the front door. Walking through the kitchen area, dining, the living room. Oh, this deck is gonna be nice. Like I said, one thing I don't like about it is they left the old wood. And you're not going to be able to see much because there's no windows, there's no light. But this is the wall that they put in so they could build these stairs. They could have left the stairs open, but I like them building a wall because it gave me a place to put my furniture. So through this door here is going to be the shower, 
toilet and sink. There'll be a TV here that I forgot to raise up the cable bar. And I'm gonna put my two twin beds here with a whole bunch of extra outlets. This wall will be painted orange. This is the closet. We'll put a rod here and on the other side. And then I have them put up a wall here with an extra doorway. So this will be like a storage area for me. The owner's closet. And no one should be able to get into that. Let's see, lighting. You'll have a ceiling fan here in the center. It look like lights on both sides. I guess I'll have to do lamps up here. Let's be careful if you're tall. This little bar here. Um, I do have three LED lights going down the stairs, so that should be nice and bright. And I've asked for absolutely no carpet. So hopefully they'll be able to do the tile. The tile is not in, but it's a gray pier looking tile. Look at my hair, this place is so windy. But again, we're right on the water, so I'm not gonna complain. Well, hope you enjoyed the tour, and I look forward to moving back in as soon as possible. And they haven't given us a date yet, uh, but I did need to um, settle some things up with the contractor and the people that are on the board working with the contractor, so I will um, share my information with them and We'll proceed from here. Riley and I found a really pretty pond in the middle of town. We're at a trail called the Henderson Path. Might seem a little paranoid, but Riley was getting close to the edge of the water so he could drink. And I was like, um, what are the odds there might be an alligator in the water. You know, this area is known for that. Yeah, Riley, I'm not sure you need to be that close. Oh, maybe I'm a little overprotective. Well, I sure hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who hasn't seen it. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure that you do that. I know I say that all the time, but maybe you should just do it. Um, this video will probably be updated as soon as I'm able to get moved back into the condo and get everything purchased and get it set up and I'll take pictures and I'll show you guys the end result. And if I have any designers out there that would like to help me design my new condo, hit me up, leave me a message. And in the meantime, love, Lainey.